teenies, Christinis. It is uh, Cella Tees week two. Tonight is, uh, they are going to perform. I'm on the East Coast, uh, so it is going to be like 1.45 a.m. when I watch. But before Cella Tees week two, uh, I decided to do a live teeny. So I am here with my Chris Teenies. And the first thing we're watching today, I did a little bit of unboxing. So thank you guys so much for sending me all your 80s love. Um... Um, still lurking. <laughs> Sylvia, she said she's gonna leave because she hasn't seen um San and Jongo's uh cover of IU's um 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 song. Uh, what what is this called? Dear name. Idomige. Idom ige, idom ege. So it's like saying like idom means name. So to to blink, to to you like dear name. Yeah, like dear name. I guess. I mean, it's literally called Junior. Anyway, I don't know this song. Girl, did you know this song? Um, sending my chair bros my love. Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I am very excited to listen to this. I think it's going to be very emotional. I'm pretty sure it's a ballad. And these are our vocal kings. Everyone in 80s is a vocal king, to be very honest. <laughs> like, But, I mean, obviously, it's Che jung and Che San that are doing this. It's one of my faves. It is? Oh, is it? Is it older? I, I really have no idea unless I do know. But anyway, 18 present and Chelatees, they uh, fucking killed it last week. And they're about to kill it again this week. So I'm so excited. I'm in such a great mood. Um, and I am wearing all of uh, like our little babies. Me and Mingi's like little baby babies. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Okay, um, girl. Oh, girl, I'll see you later. I'll text you. Everything you guess is a ballot. A ballot? Are you voting, Mina? <laughs> um, but this one is actually going to be a ballot, I think. Like, for real. I actually think this is going to be a ballot. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's score. Okay, let's put you guys over here. I'll be with you, with you, with you, with you. Okay, let's score. Let's score. This is so beautiful. And it's just tall right now. Is this a live clip? Is this a live clip? I'm pretty sure they're gonna like harmonize together and I don't think I'm ready for that. I really don't think I'm ready. <laughs> 
them facing each other to sing but then they're actually looking in a mirror and i just like i don't i actually don't know this song but the message of the song is so beautiful and just like looking at yourself like your inner self but then it, it and, and and just talking to that person but then also not knowing like the like the person the present day person talking to you know just just anyone who will listen like it just they see themselves in each other oh. being reflections of each other oh my god i just fucking can't i just <sighs> It's 
it doesn't matter how many ballads I've heard Jung on. He, he just like, it, I can't even find the words to describe Jung Ho and his like, not only his talent, but the way that he just like, his, I don't even know, the way that he, like, he just comes alive like his voice some like it actually it doesn't fucking matter because even on 80s like songs like bouncy or crazy for him his voice comes alive there too but like on ballads it is such like a it's like these fucking flowers it's as beautiful his voice is time yeah his voice is timeless that's so true like it doesn't matter how many times and i just love how it's sun in jungle because they're they're their voices are very different, but they can both, they, they, they just like complement each other so well. And like this idea of them being reflections of each other is so perfect. Because even in, oh my God, I'm gonna fucking cry. We're about to, we're gonna watch Chella Tees again. But like, you know, in Ariba, you know, in Ariba, when Chongo is, he does his, like, like, is it right before or right after San does the, 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 Huntas, Huntos, Huntas, like, the, 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 the his high note in Ariba, it, like, Chongo and San, like, their vocal dynamics are so, like, it works so well, and just hearing their vocal riffs, like right one right after the other just kill me like look at him like like breathing and 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 like he has the mic like the way that he's like just control like he's I remember when I first saw him on Imogen like I think I I don't think I've ever been that floored and I am not kidding to this day when Sylvia and I talk about 80s and we were texting each other the other day when it was right after the first week of Chella Tees like I, I oh, oh thank you for following like the way that like I was just like you Jongwa? He's really fucking good. <laughs> like, he's really fucking good. <laughs> the worst way to describe it, but... I just, I really cannot with Jongho. Like, I'm telling you, these days, Jongho is my biggest fucking wreck. Oh my god, this is my bias. Like, this is my bias. I really think there is no one, like, like, there, like, there is... There is no one that sings like Jungle. Like, like. I'm sorry, I'm like really stuck here. Oh shit. song and the way that Jongo is singing these words like the wish that your wish that disappeared
Do they see each other now? <gasps> I have never heard anything more beautiful than this. Thinking this when I was um, I rewatched like fan cams of cello tees um, throughout the week, and I kept thinking how every member of ATs and this it, and I just got reminded because of the way that San and Jungo looked at each other here, and um, I just know that when they're on stage and performing because this is what they they were born to do they trust each other like the way that they trust in like their their this duet in each other the way that the members of 80s when they're on stage it doesn't matter whether they're singing they're sitting and singing a ballad like this like or they're on stage on coachella doing like the craziest songs they trust that each and every one of them will bring it. And that's what I fucking love. Their relationship with each other is one of the things I love the most. The synergy they have as vocal, Yeah, well, their synergy as vocalists and performers. Like, they just match each other's energy. They always look at each other when they're performing. And they just know what to do. Yes, oh my god, Chris. Like, the, literally, I kept thinking that. And I've thought this before. When I, like, the, when I got into 80s. Like, I see their chemistry on stage and you don't see that in every group and you and and you don't see that like even if you see that with some members of of groups you won't see that with all of them like I feel like they really trust each other and they got each other's back and then with um with San particularly like obviously he does it here with Jungo but San does this with Hong Jung a lot like San is like the co-captain like whether they're in interviews or they're performing on stage like it is so fucking amazing that like when they first came out and they started San was like it's like let's go like like let's go Coachella or something. He said something and then he goes he goes you are you and then he's like captain. He called Hong Jung, and like they just have each other's back. And I just they're they Sun and Tongo harmonize. Like I'm never gonna get over this. <laughs> That is so fucking beautiful because this like the symbolism here like you know in the beginning when they only saw like they only saw their own reflection and they feel like they're only talking to themselves but then by the end when they harmonize they see each other and like they're like i got you even if like you yourself don't really feel like you you, you feel like you're on your own like you're not <laughs> You know says his vision gets blurry when he's nervous so he can't see the audience all the time but he can always see his members clearly because they make sure to make eye talk. Oh my god. I just love their relationship. Like.
my god. Beautiful man I've ever seen in my life.
I just... <sighs> the way they look at each other, I know. The fact that they both actually sang it live. I'm telling you, like, I've been to, um, I think I've been to now three 80s concerts, and whenever they do their ballads, I just, it, it's still to this day, I am so, like, I, I get, like, what is the right word? I am, like, floored, I'm, like, like, mind, like, their talent is mind-boggling. Like, no matter what they do, whether it's a ballad or, like I said, whether it's a ballad or, like, or like a fucking crazy song. <laughs> I'm, like, going fucking crazy right now. I think I need to hear, like, crazy form, like, because I, I don't, I, it doesn't matter what they are doing. They just give everything that they have and, they're it just their talent and their like conviction is not even just talent like you can be talented without having anything behind it you know what i mean like they have they have like such conviction and i believe the words that they say like it's just i don't know it's just ats like it's just it's just ats like they just have that they just have it you know like you guys i mean you guys know you guys know they commit to whatever they're doing 100 percent, 1000 percent. yeah 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 i don't know jongwon san this cover it, it, i think this is the best cover i've ever heard in my life i mean that like i mean it like the way that San looks at Chungwoo, like, and then Chungwoo looks at San, it, like, especially the way that San looks at Chungwoo, though, like, he is, San is just, like, that foundation. He's that, like, like, really, he's, like, that mountain, like, his name, he really lives up to his name. And then ATs wouldn't be ATs without Chungwoo. Yo, I'm just gonna cry. I love that you and Sylvia can put your feelings into words so quickly. It's like you're speaking from my heart. Oh. Honestly, a lot of times when I ramble, especially about ATs, I feel like I'm just talking nonsense. So the fact that you guys, if you guys understand any of what I just fucking said, I'm still fucking recording. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna stop the recording now. But like, <laughs> I wanna cry. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> We get it, girl. Trust me. Oh. <laughs> Chris TD present. Let's go. We are at Mott's performance video. And I did start this video already. I understand. I have not finished it. But I received a bread, a bread hua today. So let's go. We're just, we're, we're jumping right in. Let's go. And, and we are... Uh, maybe an hour and a half out from Chella Tees. So, my bias, Sungwa. Let's go. And Hongju. Let's go. Wait, hold on. <laughs>
Oh shit, I was muted. Oh my god, was that Hongju? Is Hongju in a motherfucking si- Oh. 
Yo, Mott is seriously. Oh, my fuck. I fucking love Mots to the my core. Oh shit. They look so. Whose idea was it to do this men in black shit? Is so oh my god. It was Hong Joon. Hong Joon said he thought it hung up with like Hong Joon is literally the hottest man on earth. Oh shit, no, no, pay down the pain, you no pay down the pain, you no pay down the pain, you no pay down the
Where's my sunwa bread? Where's my bread, huh? <gasps> bread, huh? Never, you know, I don't think I'm ever gonna get over this move. I don't think I'm ever gonna fucking get over that move. <laughs> Yo, Hong Jung, Kim Hong Jung, Kim Hong Jung. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, fuck. 
Oh my. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, it's too late. Drop it. Drop it. Do you hear the the who? Ew, the core. Oh my god, I can't. I am never gonna get over this. Did he just go. Drop it. Drop it. They said head to toe, bitch. They literally said head to toe. Yeah.